From decorating Michael Jackson's home to slinging webs, these actors have changed quite a bit since they played the Von Trapp children. I'm Friedrich. I'm 14. I'm impossible. Nicholas Hammond is perhaps best known for his role in The Amazing Spider-Man, a 1970s series depicting the adventures of the Marvel superhero. Yes, after rising to fame as Friedrich in The Sound of Music, Hammond rose even further by playing Peter Parker. That's another of life's little mysteries, huh? Get this innocent bystander's name and address. When asked how he'd feel about making a cameo in the most recent incarnation of the Spider-Man series, Spider-Man No Way Home, Hammond told The Hollywood Reporter, I think it would have been huge fun. It would have been a kick in the pants to have the old guy there. I was really hoping I would be approached, but unfortunately that didn't happen. Before The Sound of Music, Hammond was in Lord of the Flies. More recently, Hammond appeared in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood alongside Leonardo DiCaprio. I hired you to be an actor, Rick. <laughs> Not a TV cowboy. You're better than that. In an interview with Seven News, Hammond said, It has been a fun career. Ever since Lord of the Flies, it's all I've ever wanted to do. To walk onto a film set or stage, it's been great. Hammond lives in Australia with his partner, Robin Nevin, a fellow actor. I'm Kurt. I'm 11. I'm incorrigible. Congratulations. Though it didn't lead to an acting career, The Sound of Music introduced Dwayne Chase to geology, the field he would end up in for the rest of his life. Sound of Music was filmed in Austria, and when cameras weren't rolling, Chase would find himself exploring the rocks. He told the podcast Wine at Nine, I did take off at times totally unannounced to cast, crew, and just about anybody else. Only to not be there when we had to start filming again. Chase has many interests, including computers. Ultimately, he combined two of his loves as a computer software analyst and a designer for a company that makes geophysical and geological software. I'm 10, and I think your dress is the ugliest one I ever saw. Angela Cartwright already had an impressive list of credits before she played Brigida in Sound of Music, including a recurring role in The Danny Thomas Show. I mean, she was doing a weekly television series, working 14 hours a day at the age of three. A busy child actor, Cartwright continued working after Sound of Music in projects like Lost in Space. Warning, warning, do not go near that machine. Electrical explosion imminent both the original television series and 90s movie. Despite her screen success, Cartwright has spent most of her adult life working as a professional photographer. When asked by Review Graveyard about her work, Cartwright said, I've been shooting photography since I was 16 years old. And I've been hand painting my black and white nature landscapes. I just really love it. I grow with my photography and painting. So it's taken on different forms. I love photography. I'm passionate about it. Cartwright has spent much of her life married to her husband, Stephen Goulian, and raising their two children. Mm -hmm. I'm Marta, and I'm going to be seven on Tuesday, and I'd like a pink parasol. Debbie Turner, who played Marta, is another Von Trapp who made a post-Sound of Music career change. In 1979, Turner played a party guest in the movie North Dallas 40, but that was where her credits end. Turner's life has been spent out of the public eye. She got married and moved to Minnesota. Then, after working at a craft show in the late 80s, Turner began a floral design career. She still runs her business out of the Lake Minnetonka, Minnesota area, mostly designing floral arrangements for weddings. Turner doesn't often talk about the sound of music to the media. But in 2013, upon the announcement of the Sound of Music Live, she took to Twitter to say, Carrie Underwood is a wonderful choice for the TV show coming up next year. Yes, you're Gretel. And you're five years old? My, you're practically a lady. <laughs> Kim Carrath played Gretel in the movie and acted for about 20 years afterwards, even reuniting with Angela Cartwright for a Lost in Space episode. When her acting career ended, Carrath found a different passion. She started a nonprofit called the Aurelia Foundation, an organization that helps adults with disabilities transition into the community. The idea was inspired by Kurath's son, Eric. When Palm Springs Life asked about the foundation, Kurath explained, 
We didn't feel there was enough for more severely challenged people. The need is very great. We're trying to create a prototype. We get requests from all over the country. The goal is to support and foster others. In 2022, after a ceremony honoring Julie Andrews, Karath shared footage from the reunion of her movie family on her Twitter page, adding, pure delight to be together. I'm Lisa. I'm 16 years old and I don't need a governess. Charmian Carr played Liesl, the best-known Von Trapp child. But her post-sound of music career was less successful. Although she did star in Evening Primrose, a Sondheim made-for-TV musical, Carr had a hard time stepping out from the shadow cast by her work in the Rodgers and Hammerstein film. She confessed to the London Daily Telegraph, It was hard to have your first role as the high spot of your career. I felt smothered by Liesl. She began to feel like my evil twin, the perfect one that everyone loved. Rather than battle her evil twin, Carr chose another career path and became an interior designer. She had one super famous client, Michael Jackson. Carr also wrote two books, a memoir, Forever Liesl, and a tribute to the movie, Letters to Liesl. She penned both after coming to terms with the association fans made between her and her character. Carr died in 2016 at 73 years old from complications due to dementia. Though she's no longer with us, Carr's legacy and the character she played will live on as long as fans of movie musicals are still around. Someone somewhere will always be singing along to 16 going on 17. I'm Brigitte. Who um, didn't tell me how old you are, Louisa. Heather Menzies Urich, who played Louisa, had a substantial acting career after The Sound of Music. But she gained further notoriety after posing nude in Playboy. Menzies Urich married film producer Robert Urich in 1975 and was with him until his death. When she wasn't shooting, Menzies Urich worked with the Robert Urich Foundation. She explained to Classic Film and TV Cafe, it is a California-based foundation. We raise funds for cancer research and patient care. Much of Menzies Urich's work in the 60s and 70s was on popular television series including Bonanza and The High Chaparral. She didn't even say goodbye. Menzies Urich died from brain cancer in 2017. She was generous. She was the most giving person and fun and energetic and just not self-serving in the least. Her Von Trapp siblings paid tribute to Menzies Urich after her death, bidding her one last so long farewell. Auf Wiedersehen goodbye.